Hey guys, it's Mike, and today we're going to talk about Civic as promised. Finally, I decided to make the video, but I feel like I finally got enough information on the company that I can share with you and <laughs> sound like I know what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to get their website up here. Let me move this over here to this side. Oh, look at that. I'm on the other side of the screen. And here we go. So this is Civic. This is their website. It's www.civic.com. You can go here and you can get lots of information. You can download their app so you can check out what is it they're trying to do and they even have a video that you can watch the YouTube video and they'll explain further as to what is it they're trying to do with their product now what this is they're a, a identity company so what they're trying to do is take away from the old paradigm of having to have a social security number in order to verify who you are you know how you go someplace to get a credit card or open up a bank account rent rent a car rent an apartment, buy a house, any of these things, and you have to give your information to verify who you are. So social security, name, and date of birth. And this is how you get verified. What they're trying to do is create a situation where there is an application where you can be verified, you can get pre-verified. So how does this work? So you're gonna download their app, and on your app, that app you're gonna put information about yourself. They're gonna have companies that might work with the civic system so let's say that you go to rent a car and when you go to that car company you provide certain information for them to verify who you are this company will put on the system that you've already been verified using these forms of id so then when you go to the next company and let's say this company is also on their blockchain on uh, using this system let's say um a hotel the hotel is going to want an ID, some, some way to verify you. So rather than having to do this constantly, go over the same information over and over and over again, which every time you give information about yourself, you open yourself up to scams, you open yourself up to having your identity stolen, especially with Social Security card. What, these, what this company is trying to do is make it where the more you get verified, the more trust you build in the system, the less you need to be verified. Like basically enough people have this verified that this is you, that you no longer have to do this. Now this company, the only downside to this company is that they do have an eight year plan. I feel like that's too far. I get why they have it. It's, you know, they're trying to go step by step and get this done right because what they're trying to do away with is the social security system. And this is an institution that has been around for a very, very long time. So to, in order to phase this out, you have to take certain kinds of steps and these things have, have to be done correctly. They're, They've designed the system so in order for you to be able to use the app, it has to be using your thumbprint, which is probably one of the best ways to do it, even though I'm not a fan of that. Because you can't fake a, th well, you probably could, but your everyday thief just can't fake a, th a thumbprint. So I think it could be a good idea. I think their eight year plan is kind of like huge and far out. But like I've always told you guys, when it comes to the cryptos, I'm always looking at a way to make a gain in the long long term let me go let me show you um, crypto market cap real quick so you can see what they have going on they were trading about 30 cents not long ago it's about a few months ago now they're up around almost a dollar this has to do with a lot of things it has to do with the boom in the in the crypto markets all these new comers coming into the system and buying things up and certain some of the big name coins Bitcoin Litecoin even Bitcoin cash now ethereum have become quite expensive so it, it can price some people out of the system especially with the crypto market which is it's basically speculation I'm not gonna tell you this is like your regular stock market this is all speculation and you can t you can make a lot of money and you can lose a lot of money so you don't you can't put in more than you're willing to lose and some for some people maybe fourteen thousand dollar Bitcoin or nineteen thousand dollar Bitcoin or at, it's probably around thirteen hundred dollars right now fourteen hundred dollars let's actually double check that no, nope. All right. So what am I looking at? And give me a second, guys. Sorry about that. Having technical difficulties. Fourteen thousand dollar bitcoins, almost fifteen thousand. That's a lot of scratch. I mean, to get one entire bitcoin, you need fifteen grand. Not everybody's willing to spend that kind of money. Not everybody's willing to gamble that kind of money. So people are putting their dollars and cents into other things that have smaller caps, like Civic, for instance. But Civic does have a good idea here. Um, does have a very, very good idea. And there's actually some stuff that 
been going on in the Senate that actually might help get Civic launched. And maybe not Civic itself, but maybe a company like it. But within the speculation realm, it might not be a bad idea to have something in Civic. But um, again, this is not advice for you to put your money in. I'm just giving you my opinion. Now, here's what I want to show you. Boom. All right. Now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and drop them on this, the video cam. Peace. All right. So here we go. The White House and Equifax agree Social Security numbers should go. Equifax, of course, would agree to this because if you guys remember their, their debacle with losing, what was it, like 1 million or so people's Social Security and all their information because the people in charge of cybersecurity had nothing to do with cybersecurity. How do you have your login be admin and your password be admin and you're in charge of all this information? That was just dumb. But the Senate is throwing around the idea that Social Securities are outdated. And then we need to come up with a new form. Um, Rob Joyce, I'm going to start with something he wrote right here, I think, so you guys can see the section right here. And goes, I feel very strongly that the Social Security number has outlived its usefulness. Joyce said Tuesday at a cyber conference in Washington organized by the Washington Post. Every time we use Social Security numbers, we put we, you put it at risk. He even got, went on to say that he himself knows of at least three different times that his identity has been stolen. This is a problem, and this is a problem that's going to consist, especially in this new technological world. What they talked about in this specific article is coming up with like a private key that you would have an access to instead of a social security number where you would have a number that's your private number. You would use it to unlock information about yourself. And this could go into how to fix this system. This wouldn't be impl in implemented quickly, but eventually it will. something of this nature will be implemented. And they're already talking about blockchain solutions to a lot of things in government. This is one. And here you go with this information here. Civic. Civic is already providing this. They already created a platform. So this might be something good to look at. So I'm going to leave it here. This is a short video. I just wanted to do it about Civic. The next one will be about Populous and maybe a couple other coins. And I'll just keep you guys up to date as things go by. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to dislike if you weren't into what I was saying. And always do your own research. Don't take my word for it. Don't take anybody's word for it. Do your own research and go with your gut, guys. All right. I'm out.